So you might be having an issue with your device or for some reason your screen is just not rotating. Well, what does this mean? Maybe you're trying to go through and you're trying to rotate your specific display like this, or maybe you're inside of Safari or whatever other application and nothing is turning. So in this case, it does turn, but let's say it doesn't. So in this case, first thing I would recommend doing, this is the most basic thing of all time, is by going through and making sure that on your control center, so on the top right swipe down, making sure that this specific toggle isn't turned on. This is by far the number one reason why a majority of people will end up having an issue like this. So go through, make sure this toggle isn't turned off. So right now it's turned off, so you're good. If it's turned on like this, you can take a look. The same page that I was able to turn is not able to turn anymore. Again, the reason for this is because my specific thing is turned off. So if I go and swipe down here, this is auto lock. So it'll go ahead and allow you to, as you can see, portrait rotation, so, you know, lock on, lock off. You want to make sure that's locked off, and that is it. So that is the number one reason why your screen is not rotating. Now, another thing that may be happening is you're trying to rotate on a display that's not rotatable. So on a majority of iPhones, if you turn your iPhone like this, some iPhones do, the screen will stay consistent like this. So you cannot rotate your home screen. Now, there's other applications like this, too. If you make your way over to the App Store, if you turn it this way, it doesn't turn, which is very, very strange. So I don't know why things like that happen. I think the Clock app may also may not turn. Let's see. So some applications turn, some don't. So if you can see, if you go into Safari, this one turns. So you just have to kind of keep your eye out, making sure the application you're trying to load up is actually turnable in that case. Now, let's say that doesn't end up working. Well, another thing you may want to make sure is your iPhone is up to date. So what you can do here is make your way over to your settings of your iPhone, scroll down into general right there, and then click on software update. And all you want to do is make sure you're up to date on your software. If you're severely behind, well, that may end up being the situation in that case. So make sure you're up to date. That can also probably end up fixing the situation as well. If that still doesn't work, try restarting your phone. You can also try making sure your phone doesn't have any problems in it, like a you know bad gyroscope or whatever it's called. But that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.